all my friends on Facebook and YouTube and Google. All my friends out there that have been paying close attention to the 1964 Lincoln Continental Restoration Project. I've been catching all kinds of hell. There's neighbors that are so jealous of me and this car. It is unreal. Some guy I never met. He's the woman that owns the house, the, the, the driveway directly across the street. All right, her son, never met him, came over into my garage. All right, cussing me out, you no good motherfucker. You're running a commercial business. I'm going to get you. You're going to be fucking gone in two weeks. You're going to be done in two weeks, he's telling me. And I'm like, who are you? Who are you? You know, and the guy's pointing and cussing, calling me a no good motherfucker with his finger this close to my face, screaming at me, all right? So, that was enough. I went after him, and he ran from me across the street and behind the house. So, I called 911, and the police came, and they arrested him, all right? Now I bet you that's going to start World War fucking 3 over here now. But I had no choice. What do we, I mean, you know, do I got to kill the fucking guy? I mean, honest to God, if he comes over here again, he's going to get hurt. I mean it. He's going to get fucking hurt. Anyway, here's the car. It is drivable now. Although there's no back seat and most of the interior is not in it yet. And the rest of the exterior ain't on it, but it is drivable. I got the bumpers on. Oh, no, it's not dry. I got, don't have my reverse lights. I didn't do that yet. That's what I forgot. We're going to do the reverse lights, I think, before I go here. But anyway, just finished putting the bumper on. It's all lined up nice. And uh, we're, we're, we're almost done with this car. We are almost done, but it seems there's jealous, jealous people that do not want me to finish this car my back is turned they run into the yard and run out before I even know it and they do something like this panel here is a finished product and someone came over here and did Zorro with a fucking pencil on it already you know I, I, I'm fucking sick what, what drives people to hate me I don't even know these fucking people all I'm doing is minding my own fucking business, working on my fucking car. And they're saying, I'm running a business, and uh, I, this ain't no business. It's my car. It's been my car for a very long time. Been back and forth to Florida three times with this car. Oh, this isn't right. This is off a little. My front bumper's off a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust that. Tightened everything, didn't I? Oh no, it's not it's not even tight. Something's loose. I didn't tighten everything here yet. I just heard something. It's tight here. That's too much gap. Look at this one. I got it. Yeah, that's half the gap. I can't even get my finger in there. Look at that. I got to do something with this. Something's wrong. You gotta play with the front bumper, it's not lined up right. Actually, I think I'm missing a shim. I wonder if that could be it. Uh, anyway, that's it. That's the Lincoln. I'm still in the wet sanding. Been wet sanding all day over here. And the roof still is not done. I probably got another day or two of wet sanding on this fucking roof. Uh, anyway, that's the Lincoln Continental update. You know, I'm so pissed off. I'm thinking about going and buying a fucking air conditioner for this garage. And I'm going to stay in here and work all fucking night inside with the doors closed so long I'm cool. You know, I fucking worked in here all winter. The last couple of winters. In here. All winter. Working. Until the sun comes up, no one ever said boo, because they didn't know I was in here, because you can't hear me, and they're saying I'm making noise, so much fucking noise, 
You can't even hear the compressor at the end of the driveway. What fucking noise are you talking about? Anyway, that's it. Alright. People are still fucking trying to bear false witness against thy neighbor and everything around here. Say I'm running a commercial business. That seems to be a big problem in Stanford, Connecticut. Throughout my decades... And I'm 50 years old, alright? I've been here all my life. And I've been seeing shit since I was huh, seven years old, you know? The first time I was mugged, I was like seven years old. Unbelievable.